become aware of the tenant through rents due to the level of arrears on his account. He had no, no gas, electric, no food, and he was living in squalor. And due to no entry of the property from the mental health team, they closed the case. And because I escalated it and was persistent on getting the tenant seen, he was eventually detained under the Mental Health Act and he's been given supported accommodation. It was actually really emotional when he, I seen him get detained. Do you know, I actually cried, but it was happy tears because I knew that night he was going to be in a cosy bed bedroom, so to speak, and then getting a warm meal. The new people that we've got, if I'm, I can help them, you might as well help us as I'm struggling. As you guys are tenants, you've got to help them because we've got a lot of vulnerable tenants. I don't feel to me that I go beyond and above. To me, that's part and parcel of what North was paying me for. And I look at it this way, if you satisfy the tenants, they're going to keep coming back to you. I got a call one morning. We, we, well, we established that there was no water to the block. The actual unit which controls the pump set has gone, completely gone. It needed a new one. That's not something you just get off the shelf. I just said I'm desperate, I said there's 90 flats here with no water. So we sourced one from down south and said that he could get it on overnight carriage for us. In the meantime, overnight there was going to be no water, so he'd have to manually do it. I arrived on site at 7 o'clock the following day and I managed to get some more water back up there. And I think we resolved it in about 24 hours. I like to get things working, um, don't like to be defeated.